With that then, let's run through the grid order. Lewis Hamilton lines up on pole position, and starting alongside in P2 is Sebastian Vettel. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Bottas, Raikkonen, Max Verstappen and Perez, Ricardo, Ocon, Holkenberg and Kevin Magnussen, Sainz, Kvyat, Roman Grosjean and Massa, Stroll, Palmer, Stoffel van Dorn and Pascal Wehrlein, Ericsson and Fernando Alonso starts from the back of the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Hello everyone and welcome to the second Zerbercent AI Challenge here in F1 2017 on the channel. Uh, today we are in the McLaren Honda. Fernando Alonso is in particular here at uh, Monza. Which is quite interesting because, well, you know the McLaren Honda and you know Monza. You know that this track will be exposing the flaws of this McLaren. But nonetheless, that's why we're doing it. Trying to make it difficult as we can. And we're going to still ban ourselves from using the qualifiers. Anyway, let's get to the race. Two likes, three likes, four likes, and five! And away we do not go eventually. <laughs> oh, we're doing a not percent AI challenge, but eventually we let the field free. I'm not going to show you the entire lap of weight because there's absolutely no point for that. And off we are now on the prime tyre, that being the medium at Monza. So um, it's going to be low grip early on, particularly since this was such an unused, unloved tyre in the race in real life. but. Nonetheless, we're not going to let that deter us as we head through the Curva Grande. The first target to unlap ourselves from is Marcus Ericsson in his Sauber. Having relinquished our seat on the other side of the garage of Sauber this time. And we head down towards the second chicane. And all is looking good. We get Ericsson on the exit as we head down towards the first Lesmo. We take Verline, who we were last time. And our target immediately is now Julian Palmer in his Renault. Uh, we sat behind him initially free of the second Lesmo, but we use the fact that the AI don't tend to like to put the power on immediately on the 0% AI and accelerates him out of the second Lesmo. And now here we go down to the um, Ascari she came in the stream of our teammate Stoffel van Dorn. We got purple in to see. That's not really a surprise on 0% AI. Despite the prime time, everyone basically being on quality. There goes the Haas, I think, of Alza Grojo. Now we've got Kivya as well. We're breezing by. We have got um, very skinny wings, I should just point out, for this being Monza. That's just naturally what we do anyway, regardless of the engine. Nonetheless, that is uh, Science Junior gone. That's Stroll gone as we go around the outside of the Parabolica. And now it's run down back to the Retophilia as we cross the line to finish our first lap. Um, I'm going to lap ourselves from nearly half the field, probably about 40%, I would say. As we head down towards the Retophilia, as I was saying, Will we break late? Yes, we do. That's Massa and laps ourselves again. I said Magnussen and Huckerberg have a good ding dong. Will there be some sort of, um, internet slugging? Oh, no, there won't be because the virtual safety car is out. I know you're not really supposed to have the safety car wrong <laughs> for this challenge, but the way I'm going to work is if it's virtual safety cars, I'll keep the aims that will make it more difficult for me if the track is neutralized. However, if there's a full safety car, then we'll abandon that attempt because, quite frankly, it would make it way too easy with being able to um, unlap ourselves or catch the, to the back of the field. It was kind of defeat the object of the game. So, if there's any full safety cars, you'll never see any in these terms because I will just cut them out. But nonetheless, it's been time to save some fuel, save tyres. And as I can show you, you want to be saving uh, tyres on the primes at Monza, considering, well, it's Monza. The tyres don't tend to work. Anyway, the VSC is about to come in. We're about to go green any moment. Yes, now. We immediately pounce, just by the fact we get bleeds immediately. <laughs> a bit of a hairier line for the scary, but nonetheless, we've unlocked ourselves from Magnuson, and we eventually apply the power down, squirming out of the scary, but all is well in our world. As we head down towards the Parabolica now, trying to unlock ourselves against Hulkenberg, still getting loads of bleeds for some particular reason. I've no idea why. Maybe the game's been a bit hyperactive, I don't know. But we um, we cut back um, Hulkenberg through the Parabolica. That's nicely done. And now we got DRS to ourselves at last. <laughs> Considering the field's already um, had uh, DRS itself. Anyway, we've already got up to 18 thanks to a couple of retirements, one of which was both Sabres, I believe. Uh, the BSC uh, was for both of them, I believe. Uh, anyway, we've got Aston Ocon to look after, and yeah, before Curvy Grande, which isn't on corner anyway in these uh, modern cars, particularly with the uh, 2017 generation, but nonetheless. 
the race must continue as we go purple through sector one. But um, well, it's starting to go purple there because um, we were also neutralised on the second lap, and also the first lap was our dilly dallying that we do as part of the challenge. We're going to overtake Ricardo, are we? Uh, yes, out of the first Lesnar, yes, and into the second, we're going to have the inside line. Uh, we have a uh, Kvyat there as well, um, giving us 17 for already. Um, the fight back has already begun. He seems to be um, ailing with the problem. Not allowed us to get, I uh, believe, that was for Stefan must overtake. Um, and Pete's buff red was being, being held, held, uh, held up, should I say, by Sergio Perez. Uh, we are currently behind the Force India, but it looks like we'll be able to have them at any moment. There we are, at Mascari. Lovely jubbly. And finally, we can um, make a cut. Uh, yes, eventually. Um, we make a fast lap of the race. Um, which was um, eventually a long time coming, but um, it came nonetheless. Say nonetheless quite a lot, aren't I? Anyway, it's now time to unlap ourselves against the Mercs and the Ferraris. Ferraris and Homestyle, of course. And they'll be handily motivated to win this 25% AI challenge, Dinny Majigi. Anyway, our first target is Valtteri Bottas. Being off colour in the European season, as he was in real life, but nonetheless. <laughs> I keep saying it, don't I? Let's head down to the way on the altar. And yeah, that's him gone. Now we've got to love ourselves from Battle, who bizarrely isn't getting um, the five star treatment from Raikkonen, uh, from the team, or for whatever reason. That's him gone. Now it's our chance to take Raikkonen. We'll be able to take him into the uh, second last match. Yes, that's easily done. And that's us into um, 17th place, though, because of course we've unlapped ourselves. And we now go through the Parabolica. We now got to love ourselves from Hamilton. Uh, somebody's starting the race, can't see who that was, so I do apologise. Uh, actually, it was Ricardo now I'm looking there. Anyway, Hampton is pit, so we're going to now um, stay out. I was going to pit that lap, but I decided not to fall Hampton into the pits, because that would be more of a taking. So it's quicker, if not unspectacular, to look at, to um, just stay out and play the other cup, and try and get to lead lap that way. Anyway, here we are in the pits, going under the podium and ready to be received by our mechanics. Off go the primes, on go the options, and away we go. That was a quite an alright stop, that. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Now it's time to just push on uh, for the rest of the race. Tyler's not going to get back, so uh, it's not something that I will be discussing in the But anyway, uh, not a lot really happened at this phase of the race, I have to say. And yes, we've got the fastest lap on lap 7. But we're still relatively far behind. It feels like we're going to be struggling here. And even the following lap, yes, we come to a um, set. Yeah, fastest lap. Excellent. But we haven't seen anyone yet. What's going on? One must be getting a little bit bored. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, it's time to overtake Roman Grodron. Yeah, this is going to be lovely. It'll be easy stuff. Easy stuff. But what can you say about that? <laughs> anyway, um, we carry on later into that lap. And it's time to line up Nico Hulkenberg. No, sorry, stuff of undone. What am I on at then? Yeah, that's easily done. Quite frankly, it's a little bit of a doddle. Um, good zero percent AI with overtakes, but um, one takes one time coming. Anyway, um, it's time to get lap 12. Bit of DRS as a bit of assistance at last, which is uh, <laughs> a blessed relief for me as I head down towards the Retophilia. Uh Yeah, and that's going to be Carlos Sainz easily swallowed up. And uh, now we're on the back of Stroll. This is going to be easy on the power. No, it isn't. Um, Eventually, he's sorry. <laughs> Surprising me there. Um, I was expecting the Williams just to pounce away because the AI don't do this 80% throttle thing that some games do on easy differences. So there was none of that. Anyway, it's our chance now to overtake Jolin Palmer for P11. Actually, uh, Palmer outside the points. What a surprise then. What a surprise. I love Jolin. I do, but. He's <sighs> never quite lived up to expectation, did it? Anyway, it's now time to um, try and overtake Kivia. Real scary. Managed to do that. Lovely jubbly, and that was actually putting him a lap down. I should apologise for that. I didn't know if I actually lapped someone. A bit weird, doing an unlapping challenge, you yes, see, is. You don't expect to lap someone, but hey ho. Anyway, that's uh, Pete Tenner Flag Centre, so we're now on the last lap. As you can tell, we're probably not going to get to one. It's going to take some extraordinary circumstances, set of circumstances to get there, but you never know, you never give up. That's part of the game, is that you give it your all, and that's Massa now into the Variante Alta. I think that's how you. I mean, that's the name of the section. I can't remember. And there's a head down through the first last month, as Hulkenberg is now our target for real for P8, and four lovely points for McLaren and Honda, a track that frankly doesn't suit them. At the second last month, easy enough. Uh, that's excellent. And now it's the run through Ascari. Uh, we noticed that Master Snapping has a um, tag from the race. 
Uh, nice, um, an easy P7 for us. Raikkonen has won the Italian Grand Prix, which was pretty to first. And he went to, I've no idea what's happened to Hamilton. <laughs> I can't answer for you, to be honest. But anyway, um, Ocon round the outside of the Parabolica. That's a steal of the P6. And we head down towards the line. Nice P6 in the McLaren Honda at Monza. A remarkable result, no matter how you look at it. Even though we have technically failed the challenge because we didn't win. But hey, how... Um, P6 from Con Honda, still P6 from McLaren Honda. Uh, that was not uh, particularly easy. Anyway, um, thank you very much for watching, guys. It's always been a pleasure. Um, despite the failure, it's been good fun. I shall see you next time for more action. Oh, Hamilton was third. Hmm, maybe there's a strategy I would like better than the um, Singapore at 0% AI challenge. Who knows?